Motor Vessel Drive by Coco here. How you doing today? My 51. Um, I have a cool list. It's a book. I write notes down. It's very good. Um, and 51 is, it all starts with gratitude. Okay, now. At, at any point in one's life, One is wanting to make a change, an improvement. I mean, because bottom line, you can't change anybody. They can't change you. But you can change yourself. And that's the only kind of change that can ever occur in your life is change that you have decided. If you smoke and you decide you want to stop smoking, you have to decide that that is the most, you know, there is absolutely positively no way that that could ever be an acceptable behavior again. And it would be, it is completely incongruous with your personality and thus you'll never do that again. And that's the way you quit smoking, drinking, addictions, you know, anything like that. All right, I'm gonna go because I can. Um, and um, what's interesting about that whole premise is the fact that it's, a, it's your, you know, you choose the change. And you choose all this. But you have to start at some point. To have successful change in your life, you have to start out with gratitude. You've got to have you've got to have gratitude for what you've already got, and that's sometimes tough because people oftentimes don't see everything that they should be grateful for, and that's sad because you've got so much. I mean, you know, waking up on this this side of the dirt is is you know means you're gonna have a, a, a you know at least a good day or an okay day I mean just waking up on this side of the dirt if you and it's all uphill from there I mean you know it should be even better a couple weeks ago on my Facebook page I put up the song uh, by John Lennon uh, happy Christmas the war is over and the official version of it is just riddled with horrible war images of mutilated children's bodies and piles of bodies and, you know, all kinds of, you know, inhumanity, man's inhumanity to man, things like that, and other things. I weep whenever I watch that. I mean, there's absolutely, you know, no way I can watch that video without, you know, tearing up and weeping out loud. But it makes me realize even the little things, you know, that I have, I need to be grateful for. I mean, I have, you know, I have a, I have heat, I have electricity, I have a computer, I have a video camera, I have a car. I have many, many, many other things as well to be grateful for. And it's really easy for some people to lose sight of all that. And it's sad because people do lose sight of that. You know, they lose sight of the fact that, you know, they have so much to be grateful for and aren't. So, it all starts with gratitude in every aspect of your being. If you're ready to make a change, you know, have gratitude for what you have. If you're, you know, as you make your plan, you know, think, and as I said, it's all about, it's all about graciousness and gratitude. You've got to think of, you know, where you're going, where you've been, you know, the, all the potential involved. And have gratitude. When you start a project, when you start anything. Well, that's interesting. It all starts with gratitude. 
So your assignment for tonight, last, the last one did not have, because it was another statement, it was really nothing you could do, but in this case, sit down and spend a few minutes and reflect on the many, many things you have to be grateful for that you may take for granted every single day. You know, if you want to watch that, um, you know, Merry Christmas, The War is Over, friend John Lennon, um, that might, you know, move you. There's also a motivational, Christian motivator, I can't, you know, I can't remember his name. Just do a search, no legs, no arms. Uh, it's, last name starts with a V, Louis, but anyway, and uh, this guy is born, no arms, no legs, little flipper foot kind of thing at the bottom of his body. He's a torso and a head, and he is, he'll blow you away. I mean, if that doesn't make you feel, you know, grateful for everything, then then you're some sort of sick puppy, and you need to be, you know, put down. Anyway, so, as always, have a most stupendous, amazing day. Be grateful. Coco, out.